doesn't love a secret? This secret, the secret revelation of John, actually remained a secret to the world for over 1600 years until its discovery in 1945. It still remains quite a mystery to the modern world because it tells us new ideas about Jesus and how he helped and healed others in ways we aren't familiar with from biblical texts. I'm excited to unveil the mystery hidden within the three major gems from this text. My name is Shirley Paulson, and I'm the instructor for this course. I've been fascinated with this ancient text, The Secret Revelation of John, for a long time. I wrote my master's and later my PhD thesis on this ancient text, and it continues to teach me something new. I also wrote a book about it because I think the general public should have access to this remarkable ancient text. This course is based on my book, which is called Illuminating the Secret Revelation of John, Catching the Light. Just to be sure you're clear about this, the secret revelation of John, sometimes called the Apocryphon of John, or the secret book of John, is distinct from the biblical revelation to John as they have little to do with each other. It is one of the most important texts discovered in the Nag Hammadi collection in 1945. And this course is one of a series of courses on Nag Hammadi texts. After an opening section that explains where the ancient text came from and why it's so important, the largest part of this course explores the text's content covering what I call three gems of spiritual teachings. The final section concludes with a discussion about our contemporary relationship to this early Christian work. It will probably challenge you at times. I think it should inspire you also. It will probably give you a wider perspective on early Christian thinking and practices, and it ought to give you some new perspectives on your relationship to the divine and its meaning in your life. Its purpose was to provide hope and healing to the people who suffered from Roman violence and oppression. It transforms John, the one who received the revelation in the book, and it can have the same effect today. When the Savior found him in distress and fear, the secret veil was removed, and John became a light bearer, as all readers of the ancient revelation can do.